What's up guys, it's Captain Brando, and do you like sci-fi? Because there's a new sci-fi NFT play to earn game out called Crypto Mines. Crypto Mines, you can buy spaceships and workers and battle planets and so far so good it looks decent but it is early in the game so let me jump in and show you guys what crypto mines is all about let's go all right here we are on crypto app this is their landing page there is not a lot on this landing page this is it i'm trying to scroll scroll right now and getting absolutely nowhere um so let's you know, let's look, jump right into the white paper here, and we're going to jump in and look at that. Crypto Mines is a sci fi play to earn NFT game designed to provide the users with a fun experience by collecting workers and spaceships to travel through the universe searching for Eternal. Their token, their token is called Eternal. We're going to walk through the tokenomics here in a second, so stay tuned. This mineral allows them to live another day and make some profits along the way. Oh, look at that, that's so cute. Crypto Mines aims to be the greatest sci-fi game on the blockchain while letting their users enjoy being a part of the vast universe and thrill of strategy, gameplay, and of course, to earn eternal. So it is a play to earn game here, guys, and we're gonna walk through this white paper very quickly. And just so you guys understand, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just here for entertainment purposes only. This is for me to show you guys how I walk through games and I actually invested into this game. It's kind of inexpensive, so that's a plus plus for me. And let's keep moving on through here. If you guys are going to get into this game, I highly suggest you do your own research with any game, especially this one and others. But you know, so far it looks decent. You have spaceships and you have workers. So we have spaceships here. It talks about what kind of spaceships. There's rarities, of course, with each one. And then you have workers, and it's the same here, where your workers are workers are the main mining source for deploying to mine eternal. So workers are the ones you want. Each worker uh, will will need to be maintained by the guild by using contracts. So they're using their workers and these NFTs as like pretty much staking and farming in a way. Workers can be let go or burned, which will give 20% of the mint cost back to each player paid in Eternal. That's cool. So if you have a one star workers are burned for 40% of their cost in Eternal and will not charge the player back even if they're contracted. Wow, guys, I kind of like that. That's new to me to see. So you can see MP. So MP is the mining power there. Your workers are the ones with the mining power. We're going to walk through that real quick and jump back into this so I can show you guys. Check it out. This is the back end of crypto mines. And on the left here, we have spaceships, workers, and mines. These are kind of the three spots you need to be in right away. So spaceships, this is where you buy a spaceship. So you can mint a spaceship for 2703 Eternal. And how much is 2703 Eternal? Let's check it out. So Eternal 27.03, $20, well, $19.29, but by the time gas fees happens, you're right at $20 a character, which is very inexpensive to get into right now, guys. Very, very inexpensive, and I kind of like that. Um, so let's get right back over to it. So I bought two spaceships. I've got one that holds two workers, one that holds three. That allows me five workers total, so that I needed workers, right? So the same cost for workers as it is for spaceships. And I bought four workers here. This one's cool, 85 MP, 13 MP, 5 MP, um, and 37 MP. These are one stars, and then I got one two star out of the four that I minted. So I'm at about $120 in, guys. Um, so know that, that it could, it's, no matter what, it's gonna be a $40 plus investment, actually way more, because you have to have something to take note. In order to mine, you have to have 75 MP minimum, minimum 75 MP there, guys. So you have to have workers that equal up to that and to hold your workers or spaceships. So if you're going to get into it and try to just get into it as little as you can, I would say buy one spaceship and fill it with workers first. And then if you have to, you have to get another spaceship and then fill it with another worker until you get to 75 plus. And based on what your MP is, is how many different um, planets you can mine. So check this out. So planet one, 75 MP required. This is the lowest rate you can do here. Succession rate, 88. 
So then you have planet 2, planet all the way down to planet 10 with 750 MP required, right? So to me, if I put in 120 bucks and I got here, that would be another one. Pretty much it's $100 per, you're almost at $1,000. If you get lucky, if you get lucky with a high, high MP character, then, you know, if you wanted to get to this 70, 750, it'd be, I would say, just guessing. This is all estimates, guys. Don't hold me to it. I'm just like doing quick math of understanding, well, this is what I put in. This is what I got out. I should be around to hit 750. It should be around $1,000, a little less. And if you get a character that is a bad A character, right? So they have a marketplace, guys, and you can buy your characters within this marketplace here. And so like this character is 242, but he's 2000 eternal. And right now 2000 eternal, just to give us an idea, let's say 2000 eternal is $1,421, which is quite a bit there. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. That is quite a bit, don't you think, guys? So let's keep going. We have markets. And then that's the marketplace we just talked about in the back end. You can buy spaceships and you can buy these workers. There are a 51 pages on here. So we just glanced at the first one. A lot of these little worker guys here, but I mean for 60 eternal, you know, to, to guarantee like 50 eternal here, that's not too bad for a 74 guy. Cause I mean that 74 is right there guys. Like if you get this 74 guy, then you're pretty much guaranteed the first battle, the first, uh, planet the first planet to take care of so to me that's not that's a great buy so i think there's gonna be a few really good buys in here right now so check out the marketplace first before you uh, go ahead and spend your luchi uh your eternal money there because i mean again guys look at my workers the, the each one of these cost me 30 so uh, 30 30 eternal at that time so 5 85 13 and 37 so i've really only got one character that was uh, that was above it for if you do like one eternal per one mp that's to me that's that's the goal you want to be able to match that if not do better right so you're kind of guaranteed or at least you understand like where where your mp to dollar bills is going to match at so super rad if you guys are going to get into this game please do your own research check out the white paper but so far so good um when i first got my set here just to run through it i played the game once it allows you every 24 hours to play the game once I, I battled that planet that we saw, you know, so if we go back to the white paper real quick and look at planets, I'm going to finish this up for you guys. So just two more seconds here. You can see right here the planet. So I battled the first planet and what did I get? I got, where are you? Right here on the top, you can see my claim, 7.69 eternal, which came out to $5 in, in USDT. So I got my money back, $5 back, and I probably have about 120 in on the first day. So Always be leery when investing in NFT games, guys. They are no guarantee. There is no longevity. These are all new. There's always risk. So please, please, please do your own research and, and know that you may not come out on top on these games. And I'm hoping that longevity-wise, I mean, if I'm hitting $5 a day, it's going to take one month to get my money back on just a first-day analysis. Don't hold me to that. There's a lot in store still. I'm just being open with what I see. But I appreciate you all for checking out the channel. I'm Captain Brando. Give me a subscribe. Give me a like. Give me a comment. I would appreciate it, guys. And I'm going to get out of your hair. Captain Brando, peace, love, and harmony. Peace out.